Shamar, just a, you, 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 you ran in uh, and didn't bowl the first ball because I think you missed your run up or whatever it was, and then you came back and bowled the first ball, gets Steve Smith out. Can, can you just take us through those the two, three minutes? What happened there? No, I mean, well, the first ball that I missed, it, I didn't miss my run up. It was just nervousness, you know, bowling to one of the best batsmen in the Australia team that I consider. So it wasn't my run up, but just nervous. So um, I just went and built my mind, you know, to get the first ball right, just on top of off some. And that went for good for me there, you know, and getting Steve Smith wicket is just amazing for me. Have you ever, like have you dreamt of like what that first wicket would be? Like was that just a dream ball? Everything just played out the way you thought it would play out? Oh well, I had a few conversations with the boys in the dressing room. Uh, I told them that I would get a wicket on my first ball, but I didn't know what Steve Smith. So <laughs> <laughs> I think that that went well for me. So I went with a positive mindset. You know, you coming up a one, uh, against the best team in Test cricket. So I just come with a positive mindset and do what I do best. Uh, a few days before your debut, you were buying yourself an arm guard, uh, and today I don't think you needed the arm guard. You're just running at Josh Hazelwood and right. just start to play. <laughs> yeah, I needed it, but it's just that they didn't hit me in my hand. <laughs> I get hit to my head, but you see that. <laughs> uh, that was actually a bravery, you know, facing the fastest bowler, Mitchell Stark, is is not the best thing for a batsman. But I just stick positive and play it to the area that the ball and just hit it through the line. And the six of Josh Hazelwood? Uh, that was amazing for me. You know, hitting Josh for a six is really good for me. Cause I, he, I think he's really consistent. He's most, uh, the most consistent bowler I've ever faced so far in my career. So hitting him for a six motivates me a lot. So I think I could hit any batsman now. <laughs> any bowler. Oh, really? Sorry. Uh, do you know, do you get any idea whether the family was watching back in Barakara? Oh, I don't have to ask about that. They're all over. I don't think anybody will be sleeping. I told you, they will uh, continue watching the game. I know the support up there is really lovely and amazing for me. I could actually feel it from here. You know, they're, they're this kind of people that really support cricket. And, you know, I'm the only person that come up from there playing for the West Indies. I don't think they need anything more than that. It's really joy for them. So I just want to go out there and do my best. Do you think you might move up the batting order? Um, well, I'm not sure. 11 good for me so far. <laughs> 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 not 11 good for me so far. Shamar, can you just talk to us about, I guess, your decision a couple of years ago to, you know, I suppose, take up cricket full time? You know, obviously, you know, you, um, that had that had to be a, a decision you, you thought about pretty carefully. Well, well, it wasn't easy as a decision to make. Um, having a kid and a girl to look after, you know, it wasn't easy to up decision. So, um, well, my fiance, she was actually there too. You know, she said, um, if it is what you want to do. Just go and do it. Do what you love. I'm here to support. And support doesn't come with only financially. Support comes with just being there for you, encouraging you to keep doing what you love. So um, that decision wasn't easy, but it wasn't hard at the same time because I, I went and do what I love. Can you tell me what, when you were running into bowler Steve Smith, what did you want to do? What were you telling yourself in your head? What sort of ball do you want to bowl? What sort of outcome were you looking for? Oh, well, um, for instance, I watched back a few test matches received from it, and I think that that area is a weakness for him. So I just say that I would just hit on top of off because he's a batsman that trigger cross a lot. You know, he tried to take you off of your, your line. and So I just stick to the basic, hit just on top of off, get a little movement away, and got the edge. You know, I was tense once, you know, bowling to see Smith is easy. Watching the best bowlers bowl to him too, and now getting him how tight. I said to myself and say, how can I get Steve Smith? This is my debut, so it wasn't easy for me going on board to see Smith there. But I just stick to the basic. She said that sort of day, I mean, it's pretty dream to do. What's that do for your confidence that you actually belong at this level of cricket? Pardon me? What, what does the, your performances today, runs, wickets, do for your belief that you can actually, that you belong at this level? Yeah, well, um, I actually work to get here. It's not that easy. I work to get here, so I, I think that I deserve the, the chance to be in test cricket. You know, so it's amazing for me to go out there and get runs and wicket on debut. And I'm looking to continue in this test series moving forward. Did the uh, second wicket feel as good as the first one? No, not at all. <laughs> 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 Getting to see is always uh, the biggest dream. You know, for instance, I um, get my mini call up. There are a lot of, you know, people um, 
I want you to get Steve Smith Ricky. I want you to get Steve. Everybody was just about Steve Smith, you know. But they doesn't know it's that um, hard to get Steve Smith. But I just went and do the basic ball to him, and you know I enjoyed running to the crowd. Is not my crowd, but you know they support me, and I enjoy the support from them. It's what it was really amazing. Just about that celebration, like did, you just kept running and running and running. And yeah, if I could have run over all, I would have. <laughs> it was you know it was a really joy for me. And then when you came back, you just kind of knelt down and, like, what you just, just your belief? Like, yeah, well, that already gone. I already got him. It's just to go and continue to do what I do best. Just keep bowling. There are other batsmen there that could bat too. So I just went back after I got him. That already motivated me. I think that I could get any other batsman there. So I just went and continued bowling. What was your best wicket before today? What well, was my best wicket? Um, I don't think I have any best wicket other than Steve Smith. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I have any better wicket than Steve Smith. Getting Steve Smith, I, that, was, that is one of my favorite players. To be fair, I, I really love Steve Smith, the way that he play and go about his cricket. And getting Steve Smith, uh, I remember this for the rest of my life. I, I'll actually take a picture with that nickel and post it up in my house. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like growing up in Barakara as, as a kid? Because obviously, quite a small community there and, and I suppose thinking through developing cricket from coming from there? Um, it wasn't hard, to be fair, because our parents, the look after us, wasn't financially stable, but you never miss a meal a day because you go fishing in, you know, you plant your, um, your greens, your okra, your karaila and all these things. So starvation wasn't on our list, but financially support was just a bit different, but you had to work to maintain yourself and your family. So growing up in Barakar is a beautiful place. You will never suffer in Barakar because there's always life easy to make up there. Do you think, I mean, you would appear to have huge opportunities now from cricket, given the talent that you have. Do you think you can, you know, would you like to sort of help the people back in, in your hometown to? Well, I have no choice. I think if I doesn't help them, my cricket career wouldn't last long. That's how I see it. I, can, I come from Barakar and I, I want to do so much with Barakar. It might not happen when I want it to, but I know in the future I will go up there and do a lot for them because they always support me. People support a lot and encourage you to keep going, do what you love. And those words of encouragement is amazing for me and my career moving forward.